you're watching the Star News Update. I'm Alicia Lim. MCA President Datuk Sri Ong Ti Kiat and his former deputy Datuk Sri Dr. Chua Soi Lik have agreed to work together as a team to unite the party. At a press conference at Wisma on Thursday, Dr. Chua says he will work with Ong without any preconditions. Ong says this in the light of this development. He will talk to Party Secretary General Dr. Wong Fun Ming about reviewing the call for an extraordinary general meeting, EGM. In the light of the present scenario, I'm prepared to talk to the Secretary General and other leaders as well about reviewing the call for an EGM. This is a time to forgive and forget and look at the bigger picture of what was good not for individuals but for the party. I would also reach out to all leaders and strive to form an all-inclusive MCA that will include the various personalities who can contribute as a team. Ong says he has also accepted a suggestion by newly elected Deputy President Datuk Sri Liao Tiong Lai to work together closely for the greater good of the party. The Member of Parliament for Batu, Tian Chua, has been sentenced to six months jail and fined 3,000 ringgit for biting a constable and stopping the policeman from discharging his duty two years ago. Magistrate Mohamed Faizi Che Abu hand, handed down the sentence after finding the 46-year-old PKR strategic director guilty of voluntarily causing hurt to police constable Rosyadi Anwar on December 11, 2007. Tian Chua was granted to stay so that he can file an appeal. He faces disqualification from his parliamentary seat if he fails in that appeal. Sophisticated machines and high-tech equipment does not guarantee first-class service if it does not together with highly skilled and professional pr personnel. Health Minister Datuk Sri Liao Cheong Lai says, to improve the quality of public health service, health caregivers need to constantly upgrade their knowledge and skills. Liao's speech was read by the Ministry's Secretary General, Datuk Dr. Muhammad Nasir Muhammad Ashraf. Dalam merealisasikan kejayaan ini, kemudian siapkan sentiasa perituan kepada profesion para medik untuk meningkatkan lagi pengetahuan dan kemahiran agar mereka lebih kompeten dengan menghadiri banyak kursus serta continuous professional development agar para medik di Malaysia setanding dengan perkhidmatan para medik di negara-negara maju. He said this at the sixth convocation of the Sungai Buloh Health Science College Thursday. The installation ceremony of Tunku Muhris Tunku Munawir as the 11th Yang Dipertuan Besar of Negeri Sembilan on October 26 will be filmed by the Discovery Channel. Negeri Sembilan Information Director Ahmad Iqbal Zainal Azim says the documentary to be filmed will be on the customs and traditions of monarchy in the state, especially in the installation of the Yang Dipertuan Besar. He says filming of the documentary would be done before, during and after the installation ceremony. For more updates, log on to thestaronline.tv. I'm Alicia Lim. Thanks for watching.